Your Morning Show. Roses are red, violets are blue. When we call your man, he'd better choose you. And right, let's do this. Michelle, welcome back. Good morning. Good morning. So, How are you guys? We're doing well, thank you. Got your email for War of the Roses. Um, let's get to this. You and Austin have been together for how long? Two years. And we don't live together or we do live together? Um, we almost live together, but not officially. We stay with each other like every night. Gotcha. gotcha. Okay. okay. And is it usually you at his place, him at your place, or do we switch it up? What's the breakdown? Um, he's always at my place. Okay. And everything's mm-hmm. been good. Everything's been fine. Um, have we had yeah. talks about the future as far as, you know, two years we're moving together or, you know, get engaged? Oh, yes. We're just waiting on his lease to. And and then we're moving in together officially. He's moving in officially. Okay, so he's moving in with you. Yeah. Okay. And but you were here doing more of the roses though. So kind of walk us through why we're here. Okay, so I sent you guys an email because I'm like very upset. I'm so I think that Austin might be stepping out on me, which I don't even understand, but okay, I know it sounds crazy, but his underwear. So he's like a big kid when it comes to this. This is something that he never purchases. If I don't buy him underwear or his mother doesn't buy him, he doesn't wear. I mean, he wears them till they're almost transparent. Like oh, yeah. shark attack. Uh, yeah. Going on. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. yeah he's just, just a yeah. guy. He like yeah. doesn't care. And yeah. He's like, I showered. I'm all good. You know. So he thinks oh, that's yeah. enough. Uh-huh. It looks so, like anywho, it looks like the flag at a, a, a used car sales lot. <laughs> Like yeah. been through a lot. Yeah, okay, mm-hmm. got you. Yeah, so, you know, I, I work, you know, from home, and he had left out for work, so I was, like, starting to load of laundry and stuff, and then I come across a brand-new pair, you know, of boxes. They look brand-new, you know, I mean, compared to his. I mean, yeah. they are. Yeah. And, you know, I was like, what? what's this about? So I checked the tag, and there he's like, sexy boxers like I, from a website and so I look up the website and huh, this is how I know it's something going on because these boxers cost like $30 yeah. never in his life has he ever right and, <laughs> so I, no mm-hmm. $30 underwear not even a five pack okay I was gonna say so, yeah so these are the sacks right these are facts, okay, right? So, and so I'm like, who is buying? Who? Where did he? Yeah. Who bought? Who did he buy these for? Or who bought these for him? That's mm-hmm. the question Got on you. the table. Okay, and so we asked him about it. What he say? Yes. Yeah, so I asked him about it. Of course, I couldn't even hold that. And so he told me that his mom bought him for. Mom's yeah. buying him thirty dollars. Yeah. Mm, uh, no, okay. but listen, his mom. I've seen under. You know, listen. I've been with him. I know the underwear that she buys. She's a, you know, big store, like multi sure. <laughs> sure. multi pack style, you know. She would never buy him something, you know, this is too intimate for your mother. That's what I told him. I was like, You must think I'm a fool yeah. to think that your mom will buy you some satin, you know, uh, sure. boxer shorts. Sure. That's crazy. Right. And, yeah. And we asked mom about it, right? And she had no idea. Listen, she's <laughs> She's like, what? She's the one that told me I need to find out what's going on. Okay. You okay. know, and Fine. so, yeah, she didn't know. All she right. didn't buy it. So let's do this. We'll, we'll call Austin. Off from the flowers, obviously, should go to you. If they don't, we'll get some answers, okay? Okay. Right, it's War of the Roses on your morning show. No, mate. War of the Roses on your morning show. Michelle, let me just recap this. You and Austin been together two years. We uh, don't live with each other. Though he spends a lot of time at your place. Austin is the kind of guy where when it comes to underwear, uh, he does not buy a new pair unless it comes from either you or his mom. His undies look like uh, the dog got to him and they went through a fire <laughs> and they went through a blizzard all at the same time. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's kind of uh, fair, right? That's very fair. And the reason we're doing the roses in particular is because he recently found a new pair of undies, uh, a Saks, did some research, found out the 30 bucks. He tried to say that his mom got him. His mom has no idea what he's talking about and has told you you need to figure things out. Is that kind of fair, too? Yes. Okay. That's very um, good, fair. Now, mm-hmm. I will say this, too. Like, perusing their site, um, if he is, like, the basic guy you're talking about as far as, like, not in the fancy stuff, this particular brand of underwear would not be something that he would be into because it's all it all has designs on it. Like it's all yeah, very exactly. like exactly. It's all it's all fancy. If you got to have a 
extremely good night or you celebrating something yeah. special, your first time with someone, a yeah. honeymoon. It's not for, you know, Taco Tuesday. No, night. it's not. No, the, these <laughs> ones have uh, parrots on them. These ones have bananas oh, on them. These ones have beer mugs. Yeah, okay. So let me do this. Yeah. We'll call him off from the flowers. Obviously, it should go to you. If he sends it to you, we'll put him on hold and see what you want to do. If he does not send to you, we'll figure out what's going on, okay? Thank you. Uh, one second. Do this real quick. Um, oh, so $30 for undies is a lot of money. Well, they also have a special pouch. Oh, that's what that is. That's what that is. It's a special pouch. Nice. I think that's why they cost so much. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know about the pouch. They're scientifically engineered uh, pouch to secure... You're, 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 you're in the blinds. most comfortable thing. Listen, in, yeah, a hammock. I like that. It's a hammock for your... Yeah, I, I, I need that. I need to relax more. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, hello? Calling for Austin, please. Yeah, Tim? Austin, my name is Nate with YMS Flowers. How are you? Who? My name is Nate with YMS Flowers. We're a local flower shop in the area. Trying to do some grill marketing, man. Your name popped up in my list here. Somebody may be interested in a free bouquet of a dozen red roses. And uh, good news, I'm here to say your wish has been granted. I'm here. I'm about to make it rain flowers on you for uh, somebody you love or for them to you if, if you catch my drift. And uh, I'm just here to say, hey, we appreciate you being in the neighborhood. And we'd love to send flowers on your behalf. Yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, so how did you guys get my information, though? We, um, are you familiar with Instagram or and or Facebook and or Twitter and or uh, YouTube? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've heard of that. Okay, do you use any of those sites? Uh, I use Facebook. Yeah. So we buy lists from, like, Facebook and Google um, of people that they think would fit our profile. And you popped up my list as somebody from, uh, yeah, it looks like it was Facebook, who would be interested, they think, based on their analytics in a dozen red roses. Or you'd be interested in sending them to somebody on your behalf. So that's what I'm here for, man. Uh, here to make that dream come true. Make it rain flowers. And uh, if there's somebody in your life special, to let them know you're here. I mean, obviously, we're, we're past Valentine's Day a little bit. But it's still good. Flowers are good for any occasion. Uh, it's always good to give somebody their flowers, as we say. Wow. Okay. I never, never really like wanted it them before, so that's. I guess that's cool. I guess you know. Well, the, the I don't know exactly how they get the details, but I think they just kind of comb through. Um, so they probably made a profile for you and thought that you had somebody special, and then maybe be something you'd you know be interested in. Okay. Uh. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. I. I guess oh, perfect. That's, all right. Perfect. Okay. That's great. So they are a dozen long stem red roses. We put them in a nice vase with some sparkling uh, water. We put a little, uh, we, we put a bunch of stuff in there too to make sure they're good to go. A little uh, Pedialyte to make sure the flowers are plenty hydrated. It also comes with a card though. The card itself is about 200 characters, the size of a tweet. And uh, first thing I'm going to need for you is the first name of the person you want to send the flowers to. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so let's send them to Michaela. Michaela, beautiful. And Michaela to you is, uh, I got a drop down box here. Mother, sister, wife, fiance, other, friend? Uh, we can say other friend. Other? Okay, friend. Got you. Is she, is she an other or is she a friend? Um, other is fine. Other? Okay. These are romantic to you. I want to make sure you know that. Yeah, okay. I okay. got you. Okay, got you. Uh, cause they are, they are roses and the cards a little romantically, uh, as well. Okay, so the cards to Michaela, again, you have about 200 characters, size of a tweet. What do you want to say to her? Uh, let's just say, uh, I can't wait to squeeze yours. And then let's add a peach emoji and a, and a couple melon emojis. Sorry, I can't wait to squeeze yours. And then yep. you and want then, emojis? Yeah, like a peach emoji and, and then, then a melon emoji. Is she a farmer? Uh, no, 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 no. What's the balance of peach and melons? Uh, well, I'm sure you're a guy. You understand, right? You, you used the peach emoji before. It looks like uh, an ass. Only for cobbler. And are you freaking kidding me right now? Oh, <laughs> my God. You are such a loser. I knew something was up with you. Who in the hell is Michaela? Wait. Is Michelle, Michelle okay. is that you? Okay, hold on one second, Austin. Mm. My name is uh, John uh, Rose is here as well. Good morning, Michelle. It is Michaela. We're doing War of the Roses. Uh, who is Michaela? Uh, sorry, that is Michelle. Oh, my God. I almost made the mistake. That I is know. Michelle. We don't know who Michaela is. Who is Michaela? Uh, Michaela's just a friend. What's the big deal? It's just a friend one. <laughs> that you want to grab her melons and peaches? 
Oh, oh is that right? Austin, you want to grab people's peaches and melons? Yeah. Really? I thought my peaches and melons were the only ones that you wanted. Well, that's Seriously? Supposed, that's supposed to what happened. That's how, that's how it's supposed to work, yes. <laughs> yeah. That's usually how that works. Austin, your thoughts? Yeah, no, I, 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 I do. And, Michelle, babe, I do like that. I don't know. I just, I, another opportunity came through, and another why not grab more? Opportunity. What the hell? After two years of dating, you're supposed to find other opportunities. Yeah. We have to move you get bored. in together. You're a guy, you get about. No, no get I don't get bored. No. I don't get bored. I don't get bored. I don't get bored. No. Also, um... Oh, so I'm boring now? Oh, so I'm boring now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Austin, right. I, I think, uh, and Michelle, you had said that Austin's mom was interested in this outcome? Yes, she was. Hmm. Yeah, yeah you got my mm-hmm. mom involved? Which, are you for real? Well, you got your yeah, mom so you, involved. you kind of did, man. You got your mom involved. You got busted you got cheating involved. and tried to put it on your mother. Yeah. No. Okay, there's certain things you just, you just don't do. Yeah, you cheating your girlfriend? Like cheating your girlfriend? Like yeah, cheating your girlfriend? Like cheating on me. Like cheating on me. Are you serious right now? What is wrong? Are, I'm going to marry you her. Right it's just a little dumb. That, dumb. Mom that doesn't you. matter. That does, it's still wrong. That's your, that's your valid reason is you weren't going to marry her? It's not a good thing. Yeah. It's no. not long term. Okay. It's just a little something, something. Yeah, all right. Well, here's a little something, something. Mm. Uh, I think we're done here, uh, Austin. You are going to hit by traffic. Oh, we are so done. We are so... Ooh. Uh, hey, your crap, all your crap will be at your mom's house. Okay? So you can just pick it up from Come there. On, we're done. Come on. Bye-bye, oh, Austin. Get out of here. Bye-bye. Loser. War of the Roses is pre-taped and possibly edited for broadcast with permission granted from all participants. Want more roses? Go to YMSRadio.com. As always, would love your thoughts with War of the Roses, 99338-TEXT or call 877-995-4681. In Perry Hall, Nicole, good morning. Good morning. You heard War of the Roses. What do you want to say? I just want to say that I am late for a meeting because of this, but totally worth it. Uh, that's all there. Nicole, thank you for listening. Have a great day. You too. And everything celebs, music, TV, Rose has the entertainment report coming next. What you got for us? Rihanna on the cover of Vogue with her family. Plus, so I get you into this show. going to be huge. The My 2000s Playlist Tour. Hang on. Yeah. If I miss it on the show, I download the podcast. Your morning show.